Hey there, I thought I might just do a quick video tutorial um, because it's maybe a little bit hard to explain how you can get um, both translation and text-to-speech on iPads. Um, but I thought uh, I've sort of figured out a workflow, so I wanted to go through it. So the tool that we'll be using um, is actually called Workflow. So if you don't already have it downloaded onto your iPad, um, you can download it from the App Store. Uh, it's called Workflow, and it was originally a third-party developer that uh, created it, but Apple has recently purchased it, and so this may become just a part of the operating system in future editions, um, but Workflow is really nice. You see it now says Apple, um, that is the, the developer, because they purchased the company that uh, originally made it. And what Workflow does is it allows you to essentially share with Workflow um, anything. So you share and then Workflow runs a series of processes in order to get you what you want as an output. So if I go into Workflow, I have all of these different workflows that I can use um, simply by using the share extension inside of um, the Apple ecosystem. And so it, that could be in Safari, that could be in YouTube, but essentially any time you see the share button, you can share to Workflow and do one of these things. Now built in, you don't have any of these options, but... What you do have the ability to do is add from the gallery, okay? So there is a gallery of all of these workflows, and as it turns out, Translate is one that lots of people want to be able to do. So if we do Translate Selection, we can select anything anywhere in iOS um, on the iPad, and essentially run this particular workflow. And so it'll say, all right, so whatever you give me, it accepts text, okay? It will translate the text from, and it'll detect the language, and then you get to decide what language it will translate into, okay? So each iPad could be set up differently to have different languages, um, or you can have it request. So I'm gonna just grab the workflow. We can change that later. Um, but essentially back in my workflows, so if I go back to my workflows, I see translate selection. Now, if I want it to be super available, I'll just tap and hold it and just bring it up to the top. And then I can edit it. So what happens when it opens is it says um, that I want to, uh, I wanna do this entire process and with whatever text it has um, sent to me. Now I'm gonna go back through and choose, uh, I think I chose uh, cancel. Um, so I'm gonna just have it ask when run rather than choosing my language right away. So this is, it'll detect the language that I'm giving it and then it'll ask what language I want uh, to translate it into. And then all I have to do is add one last thing and that's speak text. So if I put that at the bottom and I can choose, you know, um, you know how fast it wants to do it uh, or, um, you know, at what pitch we want it to read. So now I can go anywhere that has text. So let's say that I am on this, uh, our APS 21st Century Learning Cohorts. If I tap and hold, select any text and press the share button, I can run the workflow, translate selection. It'll ask me what language I want to translate it into. Now I can hard code it again, but if I want it to ask every time, then I can do that and every kid that uses this can select the language that they want. We say done. And then what we get is actually the initial text and then we get the translated text, and then when I press OK, it'll start reading it to me. Una comunidad colaborativa facilita el acceso entre en un área de investigación con el resultado previsto del cambio de práctica mientras aprovecha las limitaciones y desafíos. So, not speaking Spanish, or at least not understanding it at that particular rate, you might not know what that is, but essentially any text anywhere becomes instantly translatable, right? So I just press share again. 
I can run the workflow, translate, and again, it's going to translate it. This time we're gonna do it into Bulgarian. It will translate the text for me into Bulgarian. When I press OK, Cyrillic letter that Tosi offers Ovidi Elian Opit Facilitatory Cyrillic letter Yachashi Promiana Kak Profiation on Arbachiani I Ice Gliesta Cyrillic letter Isai Chops Vacato. So there you go. That is uh, both translation and then text to speech on iOS. Um, anytime you see the, uh, the share sheet, you're going to be able to do this and have it translate. Um, and then also be able to speak it. So obviously you'd wanna tweak some of the settings, all that kind of good stuff, but that's how you can do that. So just something to think about. Hope you enjoy this particular little tutorial for how to use workflow to translate and then speak any selected text without having to copy and paste.